If this doesn't work, all we got to do is bring it back and park it. I've already put the proper plate in there. Yep. And I'm hung up on this particular corn variety, sweet corn. Right. It's a hybrid. It's old standard, I guess, G90. Okay. And it's a multicolor. You can do it. Flour. We've got several different kinds of beans. Right. Uh, uh, that sack. That's a different sunflower. Yeah. Okra. Okay. Lima bean. Yeah. Peanuts. I didn't know you did peanuts. Okay. I play lima beans so, again. Green beans. Those are green beans. Now, do we put out one little row of uh, onion bulbs that will shoot up and make the green onions. Okay. And they're just, just coming out of the ground. And they're they're just, just now coming out of the ground. We grind those, we eat a lot of them, but we grind them or chop, chop them, them yeah. and put them in bags and she uses it in her cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, they, they're really they, coming up down there. Yeah. Must have been warmer down there maybe? Or? Uh, higher. Yep. It wasn't as wet. Yep. And uh, then on this little row, it's uh, onion plants <coughs> that will make a big ball onion. And then we have six rows of potatoes. They're, they're just now starting to peek up out of the ground. Okay. You've got to, you just got to hunt them right now. Okay. But 
they're there. Yes, sir. They freeze mm -hmm. it was 25 degrees, 24 degrees here yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. And the freeze got the little cert the what was on yeah. already up. Yeah, yeah. But it'll follow with me. <clears throat> yes. And it, I sort of enjoy that. I like that. They come up at so many different stages okay. that you have an uneven crop. Right. This knocks the first ones off, and by the time that comes back, the others are up, and then they're all a little up. more even. So, uh, you know, if if good Lord chooses to uh, put a little freeze on it, I try not to argue with it. If it's I wake up and it's raining, I'm sort of glad it's raining. I wake up and it's not raining, I'm glad it's not raining. I I don't want to knot my gut up over something that I can't control. Yes, sir. Onions and then the potatoes. Now the corn will go next in April with a few sunflowers and peanuts. Okay. Linda likes to have her sunflowers to look at. We don't do anything with them, but they're pretty. The beets are here, okay. plentiful enough, but yep. you can barely see them. Yep. And the same way with the spinach and then the green. It, it's there, but yep. it's just right now you can just barely begin to see it. The green peas are a little more visible. They grow a little quicker. And these are carrots. Carrots are so slow about coming up. They they're just starting the last two or three days. Yeah. But, but they're coming up. Yeah. I have never wanted turnips in my garden. Okay. I did one year. Okay. And those things wallowed around out there for two years getting rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I did put out a row because Linda wants the greens. Okay. All right. Sure. And I believe this is green romaine. Okay. And then cabbage plants. So you've been weeding these by hand. Yeah, I, I hold around them. The, yeah. And yeah, they're all doing really good. And little radishes. <laughs> no green knot or no red knot on it yet, but it'll okay. get there. Yes, sir. And this is head lettuce. Okay. Yeah, the cold hasn't done it any harm. Those radishes are doing great. So are those peas. And that is romaine again. Okay. The right. red or purple. 